Hi, my name is Thomas Elblom. This is a video um, describing how to install the new commerce demo, uh, which is available on GitHub uh, in the sitecore.demo.retail repository. The sitecore retail demo is a demonstration of the sitecore commerce product, including, including some business scenarios as well as an example imp implementation of the integrated sitecore commerce and sitecore experience platform. The, uh, the implementation is based on sitecore Helix principles and it's also extending the Sitecore Habitat solution with commerce uh, features. Now let's dive into it. Um, here's the repository. And if you uh, go to the wiki page, there is a brilliant getting started um, guide that we will follow through. So one of the first things we'll do is have a look at the file system. Now in the file system, um, we need two Git repositories. Um, so we need the sitecore.demo retail um, repo. So this is a pull of, of that repo. And we've got a checkout of Habitat here. So both of them are completely fresh, just running off the master branch. Um, for some reason, my um, GitHub um, Turtis gets chosen a wrong icon. So there's no changes, it's all master branches. <clears throat> Now, in the sitecore.demo.retail, um, we need to download the sitecore commerce installation. And we need to, um, so I've done that and I've unzipped it here. So this is the sitecore um, commerce 821 um, package. And in here, we have the commerce server exe file. So the installation process will need that exe file. So we will go ahead and copy that. And then we will put place that in the install. Um, in the install uh, folder here. So that way um, it allows the install process to pick that exe file up. The rest of the things um, we'll need at a later point in that in the package there. So um, at this point, we also need to make sure that we're running um, the right version of uh, PowerShell. So if we open up PowerShell, um, uh, a PowerShell command line, and type in dollar host. We need to be at least on version um, 5.1. Right. Um, so now we need to um, to install a commerce server um, system. So we will just go to our project location. Now all the project locations are in the wiki. So if we go to the wiki page. Um, to the getting started page here. You'll notice that there is a location up here where, so this is the Habitat uh, location. Um, this is the uh, demo, Psycho Demo Retail location. Um, and these are the domains and so on. I highly recommend you to keep these defaults um, in your first installation. Uh, there's a lot of places these need to be changed in commerce in order to, uh, to to do it. It's all in the documentation, but if you want to get up and running quickly, then keep stick to the defaults. Right. So in here, we've got uh, projects. We've got sitecore.demo.retail. Um, now, at this point, what we will do is we will install... Um, so we'll run one of the install scripts which is called install uh, commerce server ps1 so we'll run this uh, powershell script so now it's done this installation takes about five minutes. Um, and if, if it does fail, the, the script is fairly resilient. So if it does fail um, on one of the steps, you can try to resolve that. There's a lot of different system configurations and variants of, of, um, of systems out there. So it might fail in one of the steps. But if it does um, in one of the steps, as you can see, it goes through, um, in this case, five steps. Um, try to resolve the step that it fails and then run the script again. It will skip the steps that it's already um, if it's already installed. Also a note is that you have to run this with administrative uh, privileges for it to work. Um, <clears throat> right, so the next step for us is to install Sitecore. Now on the getting started page, you will find 
a list of packages to install. So other than Sitecore A2 Update 1 using the Sitecore Instance Manager, you'll need to install Web Forms for Marketers, Email Experience Manager, the Experience Generator, which is found on this link. Um, so on this link, there is a, um, a release here, which has the Experience Generator as well as the Email Experience Generator. So you'll have to install both those packages. You also need to install a bunch of the Sitecore Commerce 821 packages. So they're part of the download. It's not all the packages, just the ones listed here. So do not install uh, the reference storefront packages or, or the, the, product image, um, the product images. I've got a little uh, easier solution. So if you've done it once, you can install um, using a, uh, a pre-configured one. So this is a sim install that I've created with all the packages that are needed. Um, and then I've exported that again. So the next time you reinstall, you can just go from a sim package and then start that. All right. So what it also does is it it allows you to set up the default website names and the location. So this is the default location, um, and then it allows you to set up a bunch of of um, domain registrations. So this is the one used by the uh, the commerce demo, and this is the one used by many of the scripts to um, <clears throat> to install on. All right, so this concludes the installation of Sitecore. So now we should have a Habitat site. So we can go to, uh, sorry, we have a Sitecore, a, a clean Sitecore uh, site. Now at this point, we need to install Habitat. So let's open up a command line. Go to, um, go to the Habitat uh, checkout folder. We we'll start by running NMP install. Okay, so after running npm install, we run gulp. And gulp has an option, um, the gulp script in Habitat has an option to just deploy uh, the files or compile and build um, the project, but also deploy it and not run the unicorn synchronization. So we'll go ahead and do that. So that saves us from, um, from uh, installing the content at this point. Right, so after uh, four minutes and eight, um, 80 seconds, <clears throat> we've installed Habitat. Um, now at this point, we need to install the Sitecore demo retail in, um, solution. So if we go back out, we will just go to the Sitecore.demo.retail solution, do the same thing, run npm install. So at this point, we run the gulp script. And in this instance, we can run the gulp script uh, without, the, um, without the deploy option. So it will not only um, build and deploy the, the demo um, installation and, and install it, it will, also, um, <clears throat> it will also synchronize all the items. So install the effectively install all the Sitecore items from both the commerce demo, but also from Habitat. So after about 12 minutes, we've installed um, the Habitat and Sitecore demo content. So let's have a look inside Sitecore. And we log in. Now, if we go to the content editor, we should see um, content from both Habitat and the um, retail site. So we've got the Habitat site here. We've got the retail site. We can even go to the Habitat uh, site here. Okay, so we've got the Habitat site here and we've got the retail site here. Now, if we go to the retail site, you will notice that there is a series of, of errors here because we simply don't have any content in the website. So what we need is um, is the the commerce engine, the new Cycle Commerce engine, and the content, the product data, and things like that loaded in. 
Now to do that, we need to go back to PowerShell and we need to run the second installation script, which is the install Sitecore Commerce Sites um, installation script. Okay, so now our installation is uh, complete. Um, we have uh, installed Commerce Server, we've installed the Cycle websites, we've installed the Commerce Engine, and um, we've installed all the content and the product data inside the, um, the Cycle solution. So if we go and refresh the, uh, the solution and go to Cycle Commerce, go to the Catalog Management, go to the Catalog, we should see the Habitat Catalog in here all the product data in here. Now, one last thing remains before we can see the website. We need to go to the control panel and do a re-index of the master index. Now, in the demo, in the local demo here, the site is running on the master database. So we just need to rebuild the master index. While we're doing that, we can go and investigate what it has been installed. So if we go to the to the IIS and have a look there, you will see that you now have three Habitat sites. So one is the habitat.dev.local, which is the Sitecore website. Then there's the commerce service services.dev.local. And then there's the commerce engine, which is the new .NET Core um, engine running. So all these three are necessary. Um, there, each of their roots are in the. Um, if you follow the defaults, then they're under websites. And here you've got habitat.dev.local, and you've got the website, which is the Sitecore website, here, with all the files. You've got the commerce service services, and you've got the commerce engine. Likewise, in the IAS, it's installed, the scripts have installed a uh, certificate, so everything runs HTTPS. Um, we've also got a bunch of databases. Now, if you want to install additional um, analytics data, then inside sitecore.demo.retail, there is an analytics um, area with Mongo data and analytics files that you can install. Okay, so after a few minutes, we have now re-indexed the master index, and we should be able to go to the website here, refresh it. Now we've got content in here, so let me just go and delete my cookies to make sure that it's default. There we go. So now we've got the products in here, uh, we've got featured products and so on. We can go and have a look at the product categories here. Uh, the search works. We can, we can go and, and filter on um, just the Dwell brand. Go in and look at a, uh, a Robo Sweep vacuum uh, added to cart and so on. So all the typical things you'd see from a commerce site even personalization, having looked at appliances, it now recognizes me as an appliance buyer. Um, so it points me at a blog post that has to do with appliances where I can go and have a look at what is recommended in terms of products. So all in all, this process took me about an hour from Ha having absolutely nothing on my machine to now having a complete uh, Cycle Commerce and Cycle website running with content and products and everything and import of data, um, setting up um, things like uh, all the, the Commerce server and, and Commerce engine websites and the certificates, user rights, uh, user restrictions, all those kind of things. 
I hope this is useful for you and I hope it gives you a good introduction to Cycle Commerce and um, gives you a starting point to play around and build something cool with it.